This is going to be a very special video today. We will be discussing the neurophysiology behind the stress and pain. How your thoughts affect the body. Let's get started. This is the brain and let's start with some basic important anatomical centers. These two areas are the visual and auditory areas of the brain. As you know, the nucleus accumbens is the center of happiness situated in the deep striatum and the amygdala is the center for anger, fear and other emotions situated near the midbrain. Then comes the prefrontal cortex which is responsible for emotional processing. So whenever there is an emotion evoked in brain, it can be of two types, positive and negative. Positive emotions consist of thoughts based on joy, excitement, happiness, etc. And negative has all the stress, anger, fear and depression thoughts. Now the emotions or thoughts can be evoked by many ways. Either there will be an external stimulus which comes from the auditory or visual centers or there can be a thought process running in the mind based on memories and experiences. It can be good or it can be bad. So now, whenever there are positive thoughts, the center of happiness, which is the nucleus accumbens, is stimulated and there is increased activity in the striatum where it is located. And as a result, there is release of neurochemicals such as dopamine, serotonin, etc., which keeps a balanced state in the body. But whenever there is this negative pathway is on, it results in series of events. When there is an acute stressful situation in brain, a response from the hypothalamus is generated and nerve impulses are sent to the adrenal gland to release adrenaline hormone. This adrenaline release results in increased sympathetic activity which leads to increase in muscular tone. And this, when this whole response ceases, there can be certain pains felt in the body due to this increased tone. In chronic stress patients, something different happens here. In chronic stress, the response is generated from the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis or the HPA axis. And the impulses travel to adrenal medulla secreting cortisol hormone. Cortisol release can cause various systemic changes such as rise in blood pressure and sugar levels. Cortisol also has strong effect on muscles. It makes muscles inhibited and weak at a 2x speed. This whole cycle results in pain, which remains unresolved even after many sessions of treatment, because the HPA axis and cortisol cycle are sustained due to stressful thoughts. So here are some quick tips for pain management practitioners, especially the physios. Pain is a protective output, not just a sign of tissue damage. Acute versus chronic pain. Treat the source in acute. Modulate the system in chronic. Biopsychosocial model. Address physical, psychological, and social contributors. Movement is medicine. Graded activity helps desensitize the nervous system. So here's something before we conclude. We teach such concepts in detail in our Primal Reflex Release Techniques course. In case you have found the video helpful and want to learn more in pain management, this course will be the best for you. Thanks for watching.